Hey guys, my name is Joat. I'm from Budapest, Hungary. It's in the heart of Europe. There, I'm a head coach and co-owner of CrossFit B Bros and B Bros 2. And as you can tell, I'm a lead coach at the gymnastics course, or now CrossFit Gymnastics. And now I'm at the Bachelor's Lab uh, teaching the course. Bachelor's Lab, it's a gym in Copenhagen, Denmark. But a couple of days ago, I had the chance to do today's workout back at B Bros, but to be honest, I needed a couple of days to recover and be able to share the experience with you guys. Today's workout is six, five, four, three to one repetitions for time of strict ring muscle ups and front squats. Front squats should be with the weight 1.5 times of your body weight. So it's kind of a challenging workout, even for smaller athletes like myself. So my approach with the workout was to minimize the risk of injury and trying to keep the quality of the movement as high as possible. In the meantime, doing everything for time as fast as I can. With the ring muscle ups, here at the course, we explain that everything, um, change of direction at speed is considered keeping. This is how we define keeping. So anytime you bend at your knees, you pop your hips or you throw your head forward, that's keeping and you want to keep the movement straight. We also explain that you should be, a, for a strict muscle up, you should be able to pull down on the rings, down below your chest, somewhere at your rib cage. It highly depends on your shoulder extension. If your shoulder extension is here, you should be able to pull down the rings down here to do a strict ring muscle up. For the front squats, I know that this weight will be heavy for me. I'm 75 kg now, so the weight was 112.5 kg. And I haven't done any front squats with this weight, uh, probably in the last two years. I, I knew I could squat it, but I know that it will be challenging for 21 reps in a workout with another difficult movement. So the, for the workout, my strategy was Splitting up every rep. I wanted to do top three repetitions unbroken, always having longer rest periods during those sets, between those sets, and always trying to do a faster transition from movement, uh, from one movement uh, to the other. So that was the goal. And as a coach, I knew it was a it was a really solid plan. As an athlete, on the other hand, with the first set, I I already felt like okay, this is too easy. I should go faster. I should do more. At round three, I did a really bad jump on the rings. I couldn't catch it right with my, with my right hand. And as I transitioned, I couldn't pull down on the rings. I had to fix my grip as well. So I did a really ugly rep. And then on the next set, I also had no rep. So I had to rest a lot. With the front squats, I was more worried about them. So I was more careful. I was using weightlifting shoes and weightlifting shoes are great to allow you to create more force. It's better for force production. If you use it only for mobility, please don't do that. Do your mobility work, get better in position. But if you, if you have experience how to use the weightlifting shoes properly, feel free to do so. So before every front squat, I gave myself some extra time to have a proper setup, keep my elbows as high as I can, and definitely I wanted to avoid vagus knee. After that, for the workout, I suggest for everybody to choose the right scaling option. 
for the front squats, the, the prescribed weight is 1.5 times your body weight. That can be a lot of weight for many athletes. If you choose something around your 80%, maybe 85%, that's probably a good weight for you. It shouldn't be too light, it shouldn't be super heavy. The goal is to finish the workout. For me, the goal was to finish the workout under 10 minutes and I just managed to do it under 11.25. Uh, 